BBC, this is Bev here, Clark of Vision. Uh, hope you're all having a nice weekend. Um, uh, this video is a little bit of a kind of a. God, here we go. Forgetting my words already. It's kind of like a spotlight type thing, but it's also a giveaway. Um, now, I know um, a couple of folk have done giveaways recently and uh, supporting new up and coming bands, and this is exactly that. Um, so, the band I'm going to talk about is a band called Kursk. K U R S K. They uh, named themselves, uh, the band took their inspiration for their name from the Russian submarine named Kursk. Um, that was what it was dubbed. Um, that submarine disaster happened in the year 2000. Um, it sank and I think everybody on board died. Um, and there's also a bit of inspiration regarding the, the Battle of Kursk from the Second World War, um, which kind of influenced the name a little bit as well, um, which took place in an area in what was then the Soviet Union, um, there's a place called Kursk, I think. Um, so that's where the band got their title from. Now this band, um, they're a new uh, young band. I think they've been together for about between three and six years. Um, the, the full four-piece lineup that they are now um, have been together for about three years, I believe. Um, so uh, they've got four guys in the band. Um, and they just uh, they released their debut album back in December. Um, it was first of all only available digitally on like so you know um, I don't know Spotify and all these places I guess. Um, their own Bandcamp um, and just m slightly more recently I believe they've had uh, they signed to Wormhole Death Records and had some CDs pressed uh, of their album and this is it here uh, so yeah it's self-titled it's just called Kursk debut album excellent artwork as well um, looking at this I have to I have to say it's uh, very kind of puts me in mind of Switzerland look at it you know it's very alpine here like a, a river coming down through the mountains this here could be the Matterhorn is a, is a big famous pointy peak in Switzerland um, and obviously being in the Alps you've got these kind of alpine trees here so I just think that's a really nice piece of artwork. Um, so the guys are from Suffolk down in England. Um, here's my own copy here. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and they are Jack Mitchell on vocals and guitars, Tom Baker on guitars and back and vocals, Luke Drew who does bass and back and vocals, and Zoran Fisher on the drums. And um, as I say, you've got the lyrics and everything to their tracks in here. I'm just trying to find another. There's a, there's a photo with the band here. Which I hope you know you can sort of make out without too much from the glare. Um, now I stumbled across these guys by accident myself while browsing Amazon of all places, and they came up. And the people have also listened to, but I think, um, and it was on Amazon um, that I noticed you could buy the digital download version. Um, but there was no kind of CD or vinyl or anything. Uh, so I sampled some of the tracks, and so you can get like a 30 second sample obviously, on, and I thought, this sounds really cool, uh, I quite like this. Um, but you know, because I don't do downloads myself, I'm not really into that. I, uh, I didn't order it or anything, and um, I don't know, about a month later, which wasn't that long ago actually, um, so this must be, it was about a month after I discovered them, I kind of noticed there was a CD available to buy and it said it would be released on the, what was it, the 20, 29th or 30th of July or something, uh, which was just kind of last week. It was going to be available, it might have been earlier than that, but it was late July, 
it said the CD would be available then. Um, so I was like, oh, they must have a CD. Excellent. So I was going to be all over that because obviously if there's a, a physical media copy, that's me. Um, so <coughs> I thought, right, I'll wait for that. And then I thought, no, hang on a minute. Um, they must be on Bandcamp. So I went to Bandcamp right enough there they were. So I ordered, uh, I bought two copies of the CD um, straight from the band. Uh, and that that came out and so obviously here we are. Uh, and I bought a second one specifically because I'm giving it away. Um, I think this band is terrific. They are, the, you know, in today's world they possibly come under the new wave of traditional heavy metal tag which seems to have been around for uh, quite a while now. Um, but they are, I would describe them as traditional heavy metal, um, as in the new wave of British heavy metal, kind of, you know, if uh, if this was 1980, they'd be under that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> really just traditional heavy metal, and the guitar tones are just really solid and heavy, um, and there's a, a thickness and a warmth. I, I find to them, I think. Um, the band themselves, um, <coughs> they cite influences and inspiration from these two guys in the background, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, uh, Witchfinder General and I forget the fourth one that they mentioned, P P P P Pagan or something, I can't remember, but uh, you'll find it on the band camp I think. But these kind of bands um, they are influenced by. And when I was listening to this, when I got the full thing and I'm listening to the CD, I'm thinking, yeah, it's quite, I wouldn't say doomy as such, but there's, there's a, a bit of mild doominess. It, it's more like a, a moody sound, I would, I would describe it. The, the, the album's definitely got a bit of a, a moody vibe. But also, um, it's it's kind of interesting and um, oh, what was the other word I used to describe it myself? Because I, I messaged the band and said to them I was going to be doing this. Um, bear with me here, doing this wee video, and uh, would it be okay if I just you know um, used a couple of segments of their uh, music? And the intro and you know just to give you a sound and when I got in touch with them I says uh, ah here we are sounds really solid moody and yet vibrant um because it's I th it's kind of uh, it's, there's an underlying kind of excitement about about it if if you like um, very interesting and I and I was thinking to myself yeah you could sort of I could maybe hear a bit of Black Sabbath here and there, um, and the and the influence perhaps, and you know, but really, really good band. Um, so if you you know if you want to support um, new British bands, uh, new any bands from the world, uh, just new metal bands, um, I uh, encourage you to check these guys out. Now I'm going to be leaving links below to the band camp their Facebook. Um, they have a couple of videos on YouTube um, from their album, I think. I can't remember exactly. You might find King of Storms. Uh, I can't remember. what There is another one, I think, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, totally recommend uh, this album. Definitely check them out, guys. And um, that's the, what the CD itself looks like. Here we have it, and uh, there's the back, the, the track listing. And I asked the guys as well, I says, is it kind of like a concept album? Because th this was after about two listens, so I couldn't even remember all the lyrics, but I thought here and there I felt as if there was a kind of a, a theme in places. And, he's, and uh, the guys, again, um, when they go back to me, they said, I'll just check here, uh, they, this is what they said, the album's not a concept album in the normal sense, um, 
There are concepts within it, but it's not overall a concept. For example, Mountains of Pharaoh and Son of the Mountain make up both acts of Canticum Montus, Mountain Song. Um, so, and yeah, there's a part one and a part two, which you'll see. Uh, and he says tracks three to five are also connected and they tell the story of this priest who turns to the dark arts and eventually gets his comeuppance, that's <laughs> what they say. Um, so yeah, it's uh, very interesting stuff, great lyrics. Um, so, in order to give this album away, if you want to get your hands on a copy of this really good, solid sounding album, um, this is what you have to do. Now you have to be a subscriber because um, kind of like what Brendan Van Dee said when he was doing his promotional thing, yeah, you want to see it. You want to see your promotion, your shout outs for these, these bands. Get them visible. Um, so you have to be a subscriber and you have to do a video. And um, <clears throat> and in, in that video I want you to do two things basically. So the first thing you have to do is now because the band Kursk as I said the, the, at the beginning, their name was kind of inspired by the Russian submarine um, and the, the Second World War. You must show an album or a song from an album that's on an album or whatever um, relating to the ocean, not rivers, which means the rivers of Babylon would be ruled out, you know. Um, it's got to be ocean related, um, the big deep seas. Show an album, um, whether it has a cover or something to do with the ocean, or a song that's got something to do with uh, the ocean, or the storyline relates to something happening in the ocean, or a song related to World War Two. Now I can I can imagine you all thinking right away, oh I know a band who I could do about World War Two because yeah I know exactly who you mean. That's the first thing you have to do. You can show just one album or one song. Or you can show however many you like, it's entirely up to you. And the second one is a question, and um, the band just did a giveaway themselves, and I'm going to nick that question they used. Um, and uh, <laughs> the question was in the song K141, which is the opening track, K141, you probably won't be able to make it out very well, um, which is the, the code name or the fleet name of this. Russian submarine, I believe. Um, what is the sailor's coffin made of in the lyrics in this song? Now, obviously, um, not everybody will know that, but I'm going to tell you the clue. Um, so you just need to say this somewhere in your video as well. The answer to the question for the coffin, um, it's made of a metal. It's made of a heavy metal, I guess, and um, Judas Priest have a certain album and it's a two-worded title, uh, British, is the answer. Okay, so that should be enough for you to put your answer down, um, and you need to say that. So that is the answer, and um, you just need to say what th that is. Um, and I'll put the names in the hats. And draw out a name, and whoever uh, you know, a pull out wins this CD. Um, it's, it's brand new and sealed. This one, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you just love heavy metal um, and do get support in the band. Um, as I say, the links are below. And uh, I was going to say one more thing here. Sunday morning, <laughs> just. I haven't fully woken up yet. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, yes, I'm going to leave this thing running for two weeks. Um, so uh, the contest is on from right now and it's finishing on the Sunday the 16th of August um, at midnight on Sunday the 16th of August. So I will make the draw either the Monday or the Tuesday following that, um, to see who wins. So, yeah, 
If you want another chance, uh, get your wee video out, show something related to the ocean or World War Two, and um, what was the sailor's coffin made of? What heavy metal was the sailor's coffin made of? So there's a clue right away. It wasn't wood. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I shall see you all in another video. Thanks for watching. Um, good luck to the guys in Kursk. Um, thank you for your message. And uh, I'm looking forward to more stuff coming from you guys. Um, and yeah, catch us all later, guys. Bye the now.